All right, just want to do a quick video going over the APA career essay. Make sure you're, you're getting all the little details of the formatting uh, kind of in your heads a little bit. Um, and just, just going over some of the basics real quick. Uh, with the header, uh, the first page is to say running head, then a shortened version of your title in all caps. Uh, then on the second page, it should just have that to shortened title. It should not say running head. Uh, to do that, you're going to have to go up here and hit different first page. And once you click on that, you'll have to enter the uh, header twice, one on the first page and you know, then the one you want for the rest of the essay on, starting on the second page. Um, so that's a little tricky. I think it took me about 10 years of teaching to figure that one out. But uh, it is possible to do a different header like that. Uh, you can also do that in Google Docs if you're using Google, Google Docs in a similar way. Um, but you have your title page with the APA for formatting. Um, your title, your name, and uh, the college. Uh, this is a dual enrollment student, so that's why she has Sullivan Central on there. Uh, you want the abstract page. There's no indent on the abstract. I, I'm not really sure why. That's just the way APA wants it. And that should just be a summary of your essay, kind of tell, you know, just telling us what the essay is going to be about. Uh, she wants to be a vet, so that's what she's getting into. Uh, then on the first page, uh, you want your title again. Uh, if you're going to do section headers, you can start those. Uh, section headers should be bolded. Uh, they are not required in APA. If you didn't do section headers, don't worry about it. You're fine. Um, some people like them. Uh, you know, for an English teacher like me, they, to me, they're, they're, they're kind of irritating um, because I want you to write you know, in an organized format. I don't want you to have to outline it for me. But uh, in the sciences, they're, they're going to love these section headers and want you to use things like that. Uh, long quote in APA is tabbed over once. Uh, you see she's using the brackets to show a change to the quote, uh, which is fine. Sometimes you have to care, clarify. Uh, she's citing using the first word on her uh, references page, a comma, and then the year of publication. Uh, if there's no year of publication, you want ND like she has here for no date. If I make that a little bigger for you. Uh, for no date. Uh, if it's an article title, it'll be in quote marks when you cite it. Uh, if it's a person's name, it will not be in quote marks, like here. Um, but she's getting into the essay. Uh, for the table, your academic plan, uh, you need to title it Table 1 and then give it a title. Uh, generally, I want the, the degree you're seeking and the college you're seeking it from. Um, and then you're going to list your classes semester by semester. Um, one thing a lot of you weren't doing in your drafts, uh, at the end of the table, uh, make sure you put a note there just like that and tell us where you got that information from. Probably most likely the Northeast State website. Um, that might be from an advisor or something. I'm not, you know, kind of depends. Um, so you went ahead and did the rest of her undergraduate degree uh, classes. You don't, you don't have to do that. Uh, but again, she has that note there uh, telling us where that information comes from. Uh, so make sure that you're getting that table down like that. Uh, again, you want a title for it. And semester by semester, the classes you're going to take, and then a note at the end telling us where that information came from. Um, but again, you see she's doing pretty, she's doing well with the formatting. Uh, she's using the first word on the reference page and the year publication. If there was a page number to this, then we'd put a page number too. But uh, most of everybody in here is using online sources, so uh, we're not too worried about that. Um, and again, I'm not trying to read this essay to you. I just want you to see the basics to the APA formatting. That you might be missing. Uh, the last page should be a references page uh, and then you need hanging in indentation for the entries and alphabetical order uh, which she has here. Uh, there's a good, a good example of what that uh, Department of Labor website should look like. I'll, put, I'll post that into the email I'm about to send as well. Um, so she's, that's kind of what the APA essay should look like. Make sure you have all those components. Some of you didn't have an abstract page. Uh, some of you weren't quite doing the references page quite right, but uh, most of you are pretty close. And you know, it takes a little practice. It takes more than one essay to get it down 100%. Um, but uh, that's all I really wanted to show you. Just want you to kind of, you know, when you're looking at the peer reviews, you know, you think like abstract, what in the world is that? I'm, um, there it is. That should be the second page on your essay, uh, a summary of what your essay is about. Um, but I'm going to get off there. I wanted to keep this one short. Um, definitely this weekend. Let me know if you have any questions as you're getting ready to turn in the final copy. Um, one more thing. 
Uh, make sure you're checking the Turnitin report. Uh, on yours, I think you have to click the submission box uh, that you put it in, uh, turn it in with. Um, but you'll see it there. Uh, you actually have to click that little number one that shows up after you've submitted something in the box, and it'll it'll you'll be able to see that uh, color coding there. Uh, it's, it's not 26% is not unusual, 30% is not unusual, uh, especially if somebody's already submitted a, a similar academic plan. Uh, that can take up a lot of a lot of your uh, a uh, lot of the percentage there. Um, but make sure you check that. If they're highlighting your summaries and paraphrases, you're doing something wrong, right? The, they should be in your own words and sentence structure. Uh, if they're highlighting your quotes, you're, you're okay there. Um, but if you have questions, let me know. Uh, I'm here to help. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.